Nya nya. Greetings, everyone. Um, so you might remember from my last video, uh, we went over how to um, install the snail trail renderer marker uh, for Avatar 3.0. Um, now that video is no longer relevant, um, as uh, I sat down with Snail after the video and we discussed and how we could make this better, and then we actually ended up writing a special script um, to do it all for you. Uh, but I will link the previous video in the comments, uh, or in the description, um, so you can go back and reference it. Uh, it is good for um, checking out how the, re the renderer works, uh, the, the script that we're doing works. Um, it is good for uh, understanding how that stuff works in general, so if you need some help with Avatar 3.0 stuff, it kind of gets you in the right direction. Uh, but for now, uh, I'll just show you how to use this really simple script we've created. So just download it, of course, and in this case, marker 3.0, give it a launch, you'll see the import, of course import it, give it a couple seconds, there we go. So in snail, marker 3.0, You'll see marker. You'll see here that I have my avatar already kind of uh, set up. Uh, you know, I have avatar 3.0 stuff on there and ready to go. Uh, so in the armature, tips, and I'm going to put it on my right finger where I usually like it. So just right in there on the index finger. Put that right there. And let's see, right hand over there. Uh, let's center this obviously where it belongs first. There we go. You can see it's a little off because that's where the bone tip is. So I just want to pull that up just a little bit. Pull it a little out there. Okay. So that positions it pretty easy. Set up the color as usual right here. In my case, I like as usual my purple to cyan color. Pretty simple. Make sure the marker is off. Well, actually, the marker itself has to be on. The trail renderer has to be off. And make sure emitting is off. Snail created a little shader here for a uh, rainbow, but you can just do an unlit color if you want your color here to work. So you'll see uh, it says you know, an avatar is miss, uh, th the avatar is missing some 3.0 stuff. Um, just simply click uh, set up 3.0 stuff. And you'll, what you'll see is that on your avatar, it would, it should have um, created for you uh, your menus and parameters. Um, but it should also have created your FX controller. Which, if you're wondering where those got put, you see that here's your controller and menus in the generated folder with your avatar name and the marker folder. All right, so back to the marker. Now you see the configuration of where do you want to put this thing. Uh, well, not where, I'm sorry. The where is the menu. Um, this part. Uh, this, the hand, is what hand you're going to use to make the gestures. Activate gesture is which um, gesture you're going to do to make the marker start drawing. You can use either your left or right hand, even if it is on your left or right hand. Uh, and then the reset gesture, of course, you can use as well. Um, once you've gotten that configured away, you just simply click Add Marker. And then you'll see it creates the animations for you. And if you look at your animation controller, you'll see that it created the animation 
um, layers for you that you'd need, as well as the matching parameters for them. And you should be good to go. You can just upload that and it'll be all good to go for you. And thanks for watching.